In this lesson, we'll continue our review of reading test seven, section one. We're still on the third passage, why birds fly in a V formation. We're in question 29. So we just have three more questions for this passage. All right, so question 29, what is the main idea of the seventh paragraph? So even though it's a main idea question, they're giving you reference just of a specific paragraph. So we're gonna go back to 62 to 73. All right, so it's this paragraph. And if you recall, this passage is about explaining why, in theories, birds fly in a V formation and, and how they position themselves within it, within it. Scientists do not know how the birds find that aeronomics, aerodynamic sweet spot, but they suspect that the animals align themselves either by sight or by sensing air currents through their feathers. Alternatively, they may move around until they find location with the least resistance. In future studies, researchers will switch to more common birds, such as pigeons or geese. They plan to investigate how the animals decide who sets the course and the pace and whether a mistake made by the leader can ripple through the rest of the flock to cause traffic jams. And so try to predict it. So they don't know how they find this optimal placement but they suspect that they do it by sight or by sensing the currents. They move around till they find it. And then here in future studies, they will switch to more common birds. And then it gives some reference in terms of the, to, to determine how the animals set, who sets the pace in the course. And so let's take a look at the answer choices for 29. Remember, we want the main idea of this whole paragraph. Different types of hierarchies exist in each flock of birds. No, that's not about hierarchies or, or, or pecking orders. Mistakes can happen when long bird wings create a V. That's not what this is about. Future research, right? Future research will help scientists to better understand. And, and that's what it said. In the future, they plan to study more common birds, such as pigeons and geese. It's C. And this, in 63, line, we just saw this phrase in that, in that same paragraph. Why does he use the phrase aerodynamic sweet spot? What is it's likely to explain? And we can almost predict this right now. It's really they move around until they find this, this optimal placement. And he said maybe it's by sensing the by sight or by the position of the feathers. And so let's take a look here. Describe how the proper structural design of an airplane. This is not about airplanes. It's about the birds finding the sweet spot. Show that flying can be exhilarating. Where's the evidence for exhilarating, right? This is just way off point. Describe the bird's synchronized wing movement. Remember, the sweet spot, what is the sweet spot? Like, what is it? the effect of it? Suggests that certain position in the V formation has the least amount. That's what the sweet spot is. It, it's the optimal placement. It's D. And the last one, this is a word in context. And we want to see what in this context does ripple mean and let's try to predict it in line 72 and i think that was in the same paragraph we just read it's at the end of this paragraph here that seventh paragraph they plan to investigate how the animals decide who sets the course and the pace and whether a mistake made by the leader can ripple through the rest of the flock to cause traffic jams. And so think about it. We've got this V formation and they're saying that a mistake by the by the leader, it's gonna ripple down. It's gonna have sort of this, this rippling effect. And you can almost predict it. Let's take a look at the choices. Rippling eff effect on the rest of the formation. Fluctuate means to go back and forth. That's where it spreads, right? Because it starts with a leader and it, it spreads all the way down the formation that's the answer. It's not a wave. And undulate's a good word. It's not the answer. It sort of means um, rising and falling. They use this in waves a lot. Sometimes in, in golf, you hear the announcers call it an undulating green because it has like these different waves. All right, that's it for this passage. <laughs>